In this video, I want to talk about something that a lot of riders may not know about, especially if you're new to the sport, and that is multi-release cleats and the benefit of them. If you've thought about switching to clipless pedals, in other words, the ones that your shoe will lock in, you may be intimidated by the fact that it could be hard to get out and you don't want to fall over. What typically happens when someone is learning how to get into clipless pedals and start using them, you'll get to the point where you have a sudden stop and the bike will start to lean and then you try to clip your foot out and the natural reaction isn't to clip, clip, uh, move your heel sideways but actually to pick your foot up and put it on the ground and if you're starting to lean over that's very hard to do if you're not used to it so with a traditional cleat you have to put your heel completely sideways to get out of the pedal and again that's not a, a natural motion if you're new to this with a multi-release cleat, you can, it, it'll basically hold uh, if you're trying to pick your foot straight up, but any other direction except for straight up, the cleat is going to release. So if you kind of just pick your foot up and to the side, the cleat is going to release. The model number for the traditional Shimano cleat, and this is the one that will come with your pedals if you order a pair of Shimano pedals, and that's the Shimano SM dash sh51 again that is the standard cleat that causes your foot to have to go completely sideways to clip out the model number for the multi-release cleat and it may be hard to see in this video but it's a shimano sm dash sh56 so instead of the 51 it's a 56 and it will have a little m at the bottom right here so let me demonstrate this i'm going to click in this is the standard Shimano pedal, the SH-51. So I'm clipped in. If I try to pick my foot up to the side, so I'm trying to pull it up that way, it won't clip out. But if I click completely sideways, then it will clip out. So again, clipping in, I'm pulling up, I'm pulling up to the side, and it's not coming out. So I have to move my heel completely sideways to click out. Now let me demonstrate with the multi-release cleat. So this is the SM-SH-56. So I'm going to clip in, and I'm going to pull my foot straight up. So I am going to position the pedal so I can do this in the video. So I'm pulling up, and it's not clipping out. But if I just pick my foot up to the side, it will come out. So again, I'm pulling up on the pedal, and it's not coming out. But if I just move it off to the side a little bit, it's going to come out. So you don't have to do that completely sideways heel motion to get it out. So clipping in, off to the side. Let me throw in one thing on this video that I guess you would call cycling terminology. A lot of people are confused as to why clipless pedals are called that because they would think that clipping in or clicking into a pedal, they would be called clip pedals. But where that comes from is back in the day, we used to use toe clips that you would put your shoe in and then you would cinch a strap or a clip over your shoe to lock it in and then to get it out you'd have to undo a little buckle on the side so those were called toe clips so the clipless pedals were able to get rid of that clip so that you could just lock your foot in without it so those are the shimano multi-release cleats it's something that i would highly recommend to those of you out there who have been wanting to try clipless pedals but have been intimidated by not being able to get out and falling over and embarrassing yourself or at worst getting hurt so the Cleats can be purchased between, between $10 and $20. Uh, you can use them with the standard Shimano pedals. You don't need to purchase special pedals. Again, it's just the cleat that you need to get. And like I said, it's not one that will come with the Shimano pedals usually. Uh, so it's an aftermarket purchase. Uh, my wife and my daughter both use these and they love them because there's a real advantage to using clipless pedals. Uh, when you get used to them it's hard to go back to flat pedals because the power that you can get and the control that you get and uh, the confidence of not having your foot fall off the pedal especially when you're going down a hill or going over rough stuff uh, is a huge advantage the only disadvantage i would say to the multi-release cleats is the fact that they do release so easy in any direction uh, you could pull your foot out if you're doing a sprint or trying to power up a few sections but again, if you're intimidated by the standard cleat, it's, it's uh, uh, one that I would recommend. And that disadvantage, I think, uh, is 
far overcome by the advantages of being able to ride clipless pedals. I do want to add that multi-release cleats may not just be for the beginner rider who's new to clipless pedals, but they could also be good for the more advanced rider who rides really technical terrain where you have to come to a stop and we're falling over on sharp rocks is a very real possibility because of how technical the terrain is. So again, not just for the beginner, but could be used for the more advanced rider. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. If it was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up for me and leave any comments or questions below. Thanks for watching.